Hello guys, this is Sir EG and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about how to interpret measures of position. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, recall quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Letter B, interprets measures of position. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. Let's have first a review about the measures of position. The median score can also be equal to what decile. Alright, very good. The correct answer is the peep decile. Next question. The lower quartile can be equal into what percentile? Okay, very good. The correct answer is 20 pip percentile. Third question. Which decile determines 70% of the data? Alright, that is correct. The correct answer is 7th decile. The upper quartile can be equal to what percentile? Alright, very good. The correct answer is 70 pip percentile. Let's have our last question. Which quartile determines 50% of the data? Alright, that is great. The correct answer is second quartile. To interpret the measures of position, we need to be familiar with the quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. So let's recall the definition of quartiles. So when we say quartiles, these are score points which divides a distribution into four equal parts. 25% of the distribution falls below the first quartile, while 50% falls below the second quartile, and 75% falls below the third quartile. So using the definition of quartiles, we can interpret the given data. So let's have an example. Mia says the entrance exam of General Emilio Aguinaldo National High School is so difficult. There were 500 test takers including her. Her score is 60 out of 80. Her score also belongs to the first quartile. Question, would you agree with Mia that the test is difficult? Let's answer these guide questions to help you understand the question and interpret the data easily. The first guide question, if the passing was 75%, would she have passed the test? So we will compute for her equivalent grade, and that is to divide her raw score by 80 times 100%. So 60 divided by 80 is equal to 0 0.75 times 100% is equal to 75%. So if the passing was 75% and Mia got a score of 75%, therefore she passed the test. Second guide question, about what percentage of the test takers passed the test, and also what percentage of the test takers filled the test. So 75% passed the test, while 25% filled the test. Since Mia is on the first quartile, so 25% of the students filled the exam because Mia is already on the first quartile. So Mia's score on the first quartile is equal to 75. So therefore, there are students 
below the first quartile. So 25% of the students failed the exam while 75% of the students passed the exam or the test. Question number three, did the majority of the class pass or fail? So majority of the class passed the test or the exam since 75% of the students passed the exam. And then let's answer the question, would you agree with Mia that the test is difficult? So the answer is no, you will not agree that the test is difficult since 75% of the students pass the exam. And Mia has a score of 75% even though she is located on the first quartile. So we can conclude that the test is easy. So let's now have the deciles. Deciles are the score points which divides the distribution into 10 equal parts. Also, deciles determines the value for the 10%, the 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, and 90% of the data. So using the definition of deciles, we can interpret the data. So let's have an example. Mr. Medina gave a test to his students. Erwin finished their test in 40 minutes, and this time is the second decile of the allotted time. What does this mean? Let's answer this guide questions. What percentage of the students have finished the test in less than 40 minutes? Since 40 minutes is located at the second decile, then the percentage of the students who have passed the test in less than 40 minutes is equal to 20%. And then for the next guide question, what percentage of the students have finished the test in more than 40 minutes? So to get the percentage of the students who have finished the test in more than 40 minutes, we have to subtract 20% by 100%. So 100% minus 20% will be equal to 80%. Therefore, 80% of the students have finished the test in more than 40 minutes. So what does this mean? This means that a low decile is considered good because it means that Erwin finished the test in a short period of time. Let's have our next example. Jenny is a secretary in one big company in Iwo City. Her salary is about 40,000 pesos and in the seventh decile. Should Jenny be glad about her salary or not? Explain your answer. Let's answer this guide questions. What percentage of the employee has a salary of which is less than 40,000? Since Jenny's salary is equal to 40,000 pesos, and it is located on the 7th decile, then it means 7th decile is equal to 70%. So the percentage of the employee which has a salary which is less than 40,000 pesos is 70%. And then, what percentage of the employee has a salary of which is greater than 40,000 pesos? So the percentage of the salary which is less than 40,000 pesos is equal to 70%. To get the percentage of the salary which is greater than 40,000, we will just subtract this by 100%. So 100% minus 70% is equal to 30%. So 30% of the employee has a salary of which is greater than 40,000. Should Jenny be glad about her salary or not? So Jenny should be glad because 70% of the employees receive a salary that is less than or equal to her salary. And only 30% of the employees receive a salary that is greater than her salary. So sh she should be pleased with her salary. Next is the percentiles. Percentiles are the score points which divides a distribution into 100 equal parts. The percentile determines the value for 1%, 2%, 3%, 5%, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 
up to 99% of the data. Using the definition of percentiles, we can interpret the given data. 25 scores in a mathematics test were recorded and the 76 was the 50th percentile. Only one student got a score of 76. So we will locate the position of the score in the distribution using the formula percentile k is equal to k over 100 times the quantity n plus 1. We will substitute the corresponding value. The value of k will be equal to 50 over 100 times the quantity. The value of n is equal to 25 because there are 25 scores or 25 students who took the exam plus 1. Then we have 50 over 100. This is 1 half. 25 plus 1. This is 26. So 1 half times 26 will be equal to 13. So percentile 50 is equal to the 13th position. So as you can see in the given figure, so we will count 13 here. First number, second number, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, so on. So this will be the 13th number. And the 13th number is equal to 76. So this is the 50th percentile. So let's answer the gate questions. How many students scored higher than 76? So this student scored higher than 76. So if we will count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 students who scored higher than 76. How many students scored lower than 76? So this side scored lower than 76. So we will count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are also 12 students who scored lower than 76.